Life should be about more than a job. A college education should be about more than classroom learning. Imagine a classroom where the environment is exotic, the problems are relevant, and your classmates are from a different culture. Imagine relationships where students and professors share exciting experiences while applying engineering principles to real-world challenges. Imagine an engineering education at Lipscomb University. If a trip to the university cafeteria is not your idea of a college adventure, Lipscomb University's Raymond B. Jones School of Engineering might have an adventure for you. Our goal is to provide not only an excellent engineering education, but also the opportunity to use that education to make a difference in our world. In 2004, Lipscomb students initiated an engineering missions program focused on the Central American countries of Honduras and Guatemala. The program provides medical mission organizations with support and technology to better serve their communities. Students experience firsthand every aspect of the engineering process, from concept to completion. For the first project in March of 2004, students designed and built a 20-foot tall water tower in Las Delicias, Honduras. The tower provided consistent running water for a mountain facility operated by the medical mission organization Predison. The trip's experiences taught ultimate reliance on God's guidance and fed the desire to pursue future projects. In 2005, a team returned to Honduras, joined by students from Lipscomb's Computer Science Department. This trip pursued three projects seeking to fulfill more of Predison's needs. The computer science students designed and implemented an open source database to track patient information at the main clinic in Catacamas. The other two projects focused on further improvements to the facility at Las Delicias. The first was to install a solar-powered electrical system which provided energy for lighting, refrigeration, and communications radio. This remote mountain location is nearly two hours from the nearest electrical grid. The second project was to reinforce the weakening rafters in the facility's main building. This renovation guaranteed the continued use of this structure for community development, education, and medical services. May 2005 brought new opportunities to form relationships with the local people. The mission team brought with them a generator, video projector, sound system, and DVD player, all the necessary equipment to hold two movie nights at the local church building, showing Spanish versions of Jonah, a VeggieTales movie, and the Gospel of Matthew. Additionally, the group spent time in local schools demonstrating science experiments and interacting with the children. The packed agenda and ambitious goals set by these first two trips have become the building blocks for further adventures. The spring of 2006 brought with it new challenges, and engineering students were prepared to meet them. For the first time, the students and faculty developed a plan to take two trips in one year, one during spring break and the other following graduation. The greatest challenge was planning and designing for both trips concurrently during the school year. The projects themselves proved to be increasingly ambitious. Forty students, faculty, sponsors, and alumni participated in these two trips. The 2006 Spring Break mission trip once again returned to Honduras, building on the previous two years. Predison's radio system relied on line of sight to operate, making direct communication between mountain clinics sketchy at best. The students designed and tested a radio repeater, determined the best location using topographical analysis software, and assembled the tower at the chosen location in Honduras. A second project on the 2006 Spring Break trip was the development and installation of a composting sanitation system at Las Delicias. Prior to this trip, visitors depended on classic hole-in-the-ground outhouses. But let's be honest, sometimes the classics stink. The engineering students set about finding an innovative answer to an age-old problem. The resulting composting sanitation system decreased smell and provided valuable fertilizer for local agriculture, while consuming none of the limited water supply. The third engineering project was an augmentation of the water tower built in the spring of 2004. Recent improvements to the facility allowed for increased usage, which the water tower was not initially designed to handle. The team reinforced the tower, adding to its structural capabilities, and replaced the tank on top of the tower, doubling its capacity. Continuing the efforts from the previous year, members of the team visited churches and local schools, taking the children's school supplies and teaching them basic science concepts, all while sharing their love for Jesus Christ. <laughs>